Hello, everybody. Lucas, it's the one. Let's get to it. Five men in the hospital. Four wrecked squad cars. A helicopter that just missed blowing up in our faces. Meanwhile, the killer takes a nice quiet ride on the quiet. subway. Quiet? What? I hope there's a good explanation for all... Nothing went according to plan, Captain. The operation was set up by the book and everybody did their jobs, but Kane displayed some abnormal abilities. Just what are you trying to tell me here? That this guy is Superman? That's your excuse? He's the and one, not Superman. Expect me to buy that crap? Yes. Give it to Tyler. Captain, we're not amateurs. If this guy was a tourist, we would have cuffed him and stuffed him in no time. We underestimated him. He's a lot more dangerous than we thought. I don't give a crap about your two-bit excuses. When the press finds out that Kane slipped through our fingers, they're gonna make me a laughingstock, and the mayor's gonna come looking for my head. Now, what is the plan, people? Are you on his trail? Kane's photo will be in every squad car, train station, and airport. We're going over every inch of his apartment and interrogating his associates. He can't stay hidden forever. I want every available man on Kane's ass right now. I want him locked up tight in 48 hours or less. You understand me? I want this nut job behind bars before he decides to cut somebody else. Now get out of here. Damn. Carla, I've been looking for you. We found some of Kane's prints in an apartment where we found the dead body of an old lady. That's not all. There was a double murder last night in a lavomatic. One of the two victims was killed by knife blows to the heart. Garrett's already there. He's waiting for you. All right. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and keep going with Carla. I have time. Minus five degrees Fahrenheit. Every day it got a little colder. The whole city seemed to be numbed by the snow and ice. But nobody was worried about it. We'll try and do this up a little bit quick. Go take a look inside, Tyler. I'm gonna talk to Garrett and see if he found anything. Yeah. Cool with me. I can't even think out here in this damn cold. <laughs> What's up, Garrett? Ah, I was waiting for you, Carla. So, what happened here? The guy who runs the lavomatic found the bodies around 5 o'clock this morning when he came to open up. When he tried to get in, it seemed like the door was blocked from the inside. He saw the two bodies through a window and called the cops. What do we know about the victims? The man was called Jose Lopez. He works here and was supposed to close up last night. The woman's name was Anita Martinez. She did her laundry here on a regular basis. Do you think there's a link to Kane? The woman died from three knife wounds to the heart area. It happened in a public place and with no apparent motive. Sound like Kane to you? Thanks, Garrett. Alright, let's get in here. Whoa, who's this? What are you doing? Yo, get out of here. Alright, uh, let's investigate. Whoa, 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 back up. Blood on the floor. Footprints. Did you notice this blood over here? Yeah, I saw Yo. That. What do you think it means? That the murderer was bleeding before he stabbed his victim. Just like in the toilets of the restaurant. I didn't even notice this guy. What's up? Got a thing in the your eye? The knife stuck in his eye. Death would have been instantaneous. Bizarre. Hopefully, shit. I wouldn't want to survive that crap. Oh, cuts on the arms. His wrists are all cut up. Looks like some kind of symbol carved on them. Snake. A snake with two heads. Huh. Change angles a little bit and walk over here. The knife has the same handle as these other tools. Okay. It must have come from this toolbox. Check out the bl oh, handprint. Bizarre. Why is there blood here? Okay. Oh, there's a card. 
Is this where he cut up his own forearms? Kane left some blood in the toilets, too. Did Kane cut his arms up, too? Oh, do you not believe that they're connected? Ooh, Kane may not be a murderer. <laughs> Alright, let's go over here and check out Lady. Get the hell out of the way, Pole. Three or four stabs in the area of the heart. Exactly like the victim in the restaurant. I wouldn't be surprised if the autopsy finds that the arteries were severed. Alright. All right, let's move her out of the way and pull up Tyler. Nothing. Poor girl, she was stabbed from the front. She found out who her killer was at the very last moment. We can still hear the dial tone. She must not have had time to dial the number. Too bad. We could have had a live witness. Check out this guy. Knife is stuck in his eye. Damn. That's gotta hurt. And Tyler, as usual, you have bullshit to bring to this conversation. Wait. Did you notice the key in the lock? Yeah, I saw that. There's no other way into this place. How did the killer get out? Doesn't make any sense. Let's go. I've seen enough. What are we supposed to think about this murder? The guy committed suicide after killing the woman? It seems absurd, but it's the only explanation. I don't think Kane had anything to do with what happened at the laundrette. But, all the same, there's got to be a link between the two murders. Alright, we're cutting it here. See you in the next video. Bye.